Hi guys, this is Kevin here from the Geek Review channel and in this video we are going to learn how to install MTK drivers on our Windows 10 operating system. So to begin with you need to download the MTK drivers for Windows 10 and for the same I have offered the link in the description. And once you have done that you need to unzip the file and this is how the driver is gonna look. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to determine if you are running a Windows 10 64 bit operating system or a Windows 10 32 bit operating system and I'll tell you why. So first to determine it we need to click right click on my computer or this PC and uh, you need to click on properties. So as you can see I am running a 64 bit operating system. So the people who are running Windows 10 64 bit operating system we have to follow an extra step than the people who are running Windows 10 32 bit operating system and I'll tell you the reason why because these drivers are not signed or they don't have a signature so if you are running a Windows 10 64 bit operating system then you have to disable driver signature verification enforcement in order to install these drivers and I'll show you how to do that so the people who are running Windows 10 32 bit operating system you can skip I'll leave the duration on the screen you can directly skip, skip to that duration and follow the video from there so people who are running 64 bit operating system you can follow me now so first we need to close this window and we need to click on the windows button and uh, we need to click on settings once we do that we need to click on update and security and next we need to click on recovery so guys my display has given up on me so kindly excuse me for that and uh, now we need to click on restart now So now the next step would be to click on troubleshoot and click on advanced option. Out here we need to select startup settings and click on restart. And once we are on this page we need to press 7 on our keyboard so do that. So it takes some time for your PC to restart and once it's done the next step would be to right click on the windows button and uh, we need to select device manager and once you do that if in case you get any message like do you want to allow this app to make change to your PC you need to click on yes and next you need to click on the name of your PC in my case it's Kevin and uh, you need to click on action and here we need to select add legacy hardware and uh, then we need to click on next and uh, out here we need to select install the hardware manually and uh, click on next and we need to click on show all device and uh, we need to select have this and uh, browse the MTK drivers that we have kept on our desktop so out here we need to be extremely careful if you are running a Windows 10 64 bit operating system then select 64 bit and if in case you are running a Windows 10 32 bit operating system then select 32 bit so I will select 64 bit operating system and press open and press ok and I'll select MTK USB port and uh, click next and again click next so out here you see Windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver software and the reason for that is these drivers are not signed so now we need to click on install this driver software anyway So now you can see that the driver has been installed and now we need to click on finish and the one more final step that we need to follow. So we need to 
as you saw that there was an error so to rectify that we need to click on port and out here you can see an MTK USB port so we need to right click on that and we need to click on uninstall and out here you don't have to do anything at this box just leave this box empty and uh, we just have to press ok and once you have done this you have successfully installed MTK drivers on your Windows 10 64 bit as well as 32 bit so now every time you need to use these drivers or every time you need to flash a recovery or a ROM or use your SP flash tool guys you need to remember people who are running Windows 10 64 bit operating system you all have to do this whole procedure again you all have to disable signature verification and then let the PC restart and only then you all can flash any custom ROM recovery or do any changes to your phone so kindly keep that in mind and the people running Windows 10 32 bit operating system you all can just normally use these drivers so that's it from me in this video and uh, stay tuned for more videos there will be videos on how to flash ROM custom ROM or marshmallow ROM on your Coolpad Note 3 so kindly stay tuned for that so that's it from me for this video and I'll definitely see you in the next video guys. This is Kevin signing off from Geeky Review.